हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट पैन कोस्ट सिंड्रोम सो पैन कोस्ट सिंड्रोम इज एक्चुअली इन पैन कोस्ट सिंड्रोम the tumor is this is due to the tumor of the lung or it can be due to the inflammation or consolidation on the superior lobe of the lung whenever there is tumor in the superior sulcus or if there is any disorder in the superior sulcus this will cause compression of the sympathetic ganglion so whenever there is compression of the sympathetic ganglion occurs then it is pancoast tumor in pancoast tumor there occurs compression of c8 t1 t2 nerve roots along with shoulder pain and arm pain here whenever the tumor is present in the superior lobe of the lung or superior sulcus of the lung then all the structures which are uh, present here will get compressed here you will see the brachial plexus cervical sympathetic chain is seen so because brachial plexus are seen here so because of this pancos tumor or it can be due to pulmonary tuberculosis which is present in this area superior sulcus during that time there will be compression of the c6 C8 T1 T2 nerve roots. So C8 T1 T2 nerve roots will supply the shoulder and the arm, thus resulting in this uh, um, pain in the shoulder uh, and arm pain is seen. And this will also cause compression of the sympathetic chain. That is, cervical sympathetic chain gets compressed. Whenever there is compression of the cervical sympathetic chain, then this will result in development of. Uh, Horner's syndrome in the patient. So patient develops Horner's syndrome. And one more thing, this tumor will also erode the ribs which are present here, and it will also erode the bones and muscles which are present in this part. So here you will also see erosion of the adjacent ribs and erosion of vertebrae are also seen. And because of this erosion of ribs and vertebrae, the patient might develop chest pain. thank you and thank you for watching